<laughs> oh, ho, follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, ready for another Let's Play. This time, I'm not even sure what I'm getting into. You see, what I've read into this game is that it is a visual novel that gets weird. And in a weird that I think I would find intriguing and not like a creepy Newgrounds weird. Alright, this game is not suitable for children who are easily disturbed. I'm no child. Thank you for the disclaimer. Individuals suffering from anxiety, depression, may not have it, or depression, may not have a safe experience playing this for content warnings. Visit that URL. You're at least 13 years of age, and yeah, I can handle all of that. <coughs> I guess disguised isn't really so much what it is, since they're putting this warning. This is disturbing. Okay. So. Oh god. I have to enter my name. Okay, let's see here. Oh god. <laughs> this better get, like, creepy real good. Otherwise, I'm gonna feel... Alright, I'm, I'm being too judgmental about this. I'm just gonna play the game. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. I respect that. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. I don't know the kind of friend you see yourself never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but started around, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Wow. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh god. She's got the... She's got the... She's got the... I don't know what those are. The, like, greater than, less than eyes. I overslept again. Okay. But I caught you this time. Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Maybe I should have named the character something besides my actual name. This is gonna feel very strange. <laughs> that face is weird. It almost reminds me of like Maya's one face from Ace Attorney. Where she got like her arms down and her cheeks all puffed out. That's mean. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. So paranoid. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to be mean if you want. Even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Whatever you say, Ori. Yeah. <laughs> we cross the street and make our way to school. Alright. I'm just imagining, like, this game got quite a bit of buzz a few months ago, so I, th I think the bandwagon is too far away for me to jump on at this point, because this is a video series is probably going to draw all two views per video like every other Let's Play series I do, but I can only imagine, like, one of the people who know me in real life who happen to be subscribed to me going, what in God's name am I looking at? Why are you playing this? Draw near the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, have you decided on a club to join yet? Can I join the chess club? I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I respect that too. This is actually it. I haven't been looking either. That is a very me thing to say actually. Yeah, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. You are not my dad. Ah, 
I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Yeah. Likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content getting by on just average while spending my free time on games and anime. I was slightly above average, but basically me in high school. I was talking about how to socialize, or yeah, whatever. Your happiness is really important. Thank you? And I know you're happy now, but I die uh, becoming a neat. What does that stand for? Because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? It was like seven sentences from the same person in a row. Alright, alright, I give up. I'll look for a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Just promise me you'll try a little. A very minuscule amount. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I see her me. Ease. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. So is this game gonna be choice based or am I literally just scrolling through text? I got my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. <coughs> Gross. Wants me to check out some clubs. Oh, anime. Right, that's respectable. Hello. <laughs> I just imagined that in like the Pira from Ruby voice. Hello again. Must come to the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw it. Ch I love it when they. I love it when dialogue just is off. It's just specifically similar to what you were thinking. It's amusing. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Uh, which one is that? Is that the anime club? I have no idea what club... I have no earthly idea what it could be. Oof. Eh, meanie. Is Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. I would have never guessed. Not that I was aware that she even had any interest in literature. I paraphrase that line. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did that because I thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show any interest after the person who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. Ah. Get, your, get in on the ground level and all that, huh? That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Oh, that's not a very me thing. I like books and such. I've been very lazy about reading and stuff since I was like a senior though, so there's that. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. But you hassled me to choose one, and now you're making me. Now you're trying to choose for me. This is messed up, lady. Well, I had to look at oh, oh, <laughs> the facial expressions in this game are going to be the death of me. This one's really funny, too. Better than that, okay, these, these names that I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of will be the death of me. And Natsuki made cupcakes. I like cupcakes. I'm in. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if this... She's really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning to have planned this all out. I let out a long sigh. Let's <sighs> load. I had like a little speck on my screen that made the O look like there was a it was like L pad or something. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. 
until then. And thus marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I can I can get behind that, to be honest. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely even visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Oh, I've wait now. Clarifying that this is a blind playthrough at this point is moot. I said I don't even know what I'm getting into at the beginning. Everyone, the new member is here. Tilde exclamation point. I told you don't call me a new member. Air quotes. Eh. I glance around the room. What? Girl one. Welcome to the literature club. Literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? I resent that. Way to kill the atmosphere. I really resent that. Ah, Hunter, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. I do, 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 do I know you? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly... Oh. I regret giving this guy my name. What are you looking at? Do you have an hourglass in your hair? Or is that just supposed to be a ribbon? Natsuki? Oh, you're the one with the... I guess that's the only one we don't know. But she's the one that I do believe made the cupcakes. Her small figure makes she... Possibly a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. See? You can just ignore her when she gets moody. She says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. This is like... I feel like I'm basically going to be playing a visual novel version of a Persona side quest. Is how I feel like this is going to be. And this is Yuri. Oh. Is it? Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. How do we know her? Uh, why do you have to, like, tilt your- why do you gotta do that? We do know each other? Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl, smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league, so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down. We made room for you at the table so we can s sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? I'll get the tea. No, we will phone them. Phone them dead. A few desk arranged to form a table. So we already mentioned, it's widened for the one space next to Monica, and one space next to Sayori. <clears throat> no, no, no. Trey and Yuri opens the closet. Sorry, I kind of skimmed past that. Still feeling a little awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. So, is this not choice-based, then? I figured that would have been, that would be the perfect opportunity to be like, choose who to sit by, blah blah blah. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da. Whoa. She looks scared. This one. I need to quit pointing at my computer screen with my actual hand. He lifts the floor out. Doesn't white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Do they have cookie dough as a filling? Because those are delicious. 
Whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute. Sing songy voice. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, <laughs> well, you know. Let's carry and take one. <sighs> Rah, brah. Alright, Sayori grabs the first one, or one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. She talks with her mouth full and already got icing on her face. Yeah. Alright. I turn the cupcake around and... You're overthinking it, dude. Natsuki is quiet. She wants to know what I think. Finally bite down, the icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder how she made I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you. Why you think it's you just said you made them. Get out of here! Uh, I thought Sayori said, well maybe. But not for you, you dummy. Alright, alright. No need to get hostile. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting the down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I'm not really a tea person, to be honest. I am more of a unhealthy, sugary soda person. But, you know. To each their own. Ah, I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. She's just trying to impress you. Ah, that's not insulted. Insulted. Yuri looks away. <laughs> I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading may not be the best pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. Uh, what made me consider- I got hassled into it by the- other one. Say worry. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me that I shouldn't tell her that I was practically dragged here. Ah, oh, you know, reading. I've been doing it since I was in school. I'll make you feel right at home. Oh, you're the present. Why did I think the one that made the cupcakes would have been the. whatever. President, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I am surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You should probably be a board member for any of the major, or you could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you leader of the debate club last year? Ah, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. Whatever, whatever shows and fiction has like, ugh, like politics and quotes about like clubs and stuff, it just makes me chuckle <laughs> that like these different groups of students vying for like, rawr. None of that sentence really made sense, but. Uh, it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Yeah. I'd rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. I respect that. If it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a really great leader. Yuri nods in agreement. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. 
Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Oh, you have to. Okay. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. I did my best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these, just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. What kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, uh... Does manga count? Because I feel like that's the only answer that my character could pull. I haven't read... Considering how little I've read these past year, I don't have a good way of answering that. Ah! <laughs> what did I say? 